In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add age verification to your WordPress website. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, it only takes a few minutes. This tutorial is longer than a few minutes because I go through all the settings, which you don't have to watch all of it, but definitely the first part where I install and configure the, the main part of the plugin. And if you like this kind of video, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also make sure you like and leave a comment down below, even just to say hi, because that helps this video rank higher, reach more people, help more people, and helps this channel grow and this community grow. So make sure you do those things. Subscribe, like, and comment. My name is Bjorn Allpass and WP Learning Lab. We're getting started right now. So the first thing we want to do is install the plugin. I'm going to go to Plugins and then Add New. I'm going to search for AgeGate. And the one we want is this one on the top left up here. It has a lot of great reviews, 10,000 plus installs. It's not the biggest plugin, not the most downloaded plugin in the repository, but it works with creating age restriction. I'm going to click on install now. Normally when you install now, you also want to back up your site beforehand. This is my demo site, so I'm not too concerned about that. But if you're concerned about your site, which you should be, there's a link to the tutorial in the description down below that will help you back up your site. Because when you install new plugins, sometimes things go wrong. It's rare these days, but sometimes things still do go wrong. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you want to back up your site, check out the tutorial in the description down below. And I'm going to click on activate now this plugin is installed. And now we have our AgeGate plugin right here. And up here it says clear your caches. If you have any caching plugins, make sure you clear your cache so that this plugin can actually work and show the message. So we can click on settings here or click on AgeGate on the left. And we're taken to a settings page with all these tabs. These tabs coincide with the menu options that flew out just a second ago that you now see down here. So here you choose the age that you want to restrict to, and you can select either all content or selected content to restrict. All content means just site-wide, everything is age restricted. The selected content means you can go in on a page by page or post by post basis and choose those posts to be restricted. So your whole site is not restricted, just the ones you pick. And then if you do choose selected content, you can select this varied ages box and that will allow you to change the age restriction on a post per post basis. It'll be default to the one you set here, but you can change it if you want to. And choosing selected content also lets you age restrict categories and tags. And then if you choose this option down here, all the posts that are contained within that category and tag can be defaulted to the restrictions that you set for that category and tag. That'll make more sense in just a minute when I show you. I'm going to check this. I'm going to check enable remember me when they say I'm older than whatever the value is. It remembers that. It cookies them when they come back if they have not cleared that cookie yet for the next one year period they will not have that message again to verify their age you can also have that remember me box checked by default so you're not always nagging visitors it does that by default they can obviously uncheck that if they want to change the date format you can ignore logged in users you can re-challenge if someone fails the age test they can try again and if they fail to meet the age requirement you send them to a custom page by choosing the link here or you can pick a page on your site and you could have something on there that says, sorry, didn't meet the age requirement, see you later. Tough noogies. Click on save changes. And now we have to actually apply this age restriction to something because we've chosen selected content to restrict. Currently nothing's restricted. By default, when you select this, nothing's restricted. So you have to choose things. So if we go to posts, I'll show you the categories. Let's go into edit uncategorized. We can choose the age restriction right here. Check this, you can change the age if you want to, and this will apply to all posts inside of this category. So you can bulk restrict in that way if you want to, or you can go to individual posts, click on edit, and on the right hand side, we have age gate this content. We could choose an age if we want to, click on update, and now if I go to this page incognito, I'm gonna copy this link address, incognito mode, meaning we're not logged in, it says nothing much name of the site, month, day, year, and remember me and submit. So we need to add some more info, otherwise people don't know what this is about. So let's go back into the plugin settings. And by the way, if you like this kind of tutorial, make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below. Even if you just say hi in the comments, that's great. Likes and comments help this video rank higher and get more views. So if you wanna help me out, go ahead and do that. Like and comment down below. And now that we're back in the settings, let's go to messaging. We can have a headline. It could be something like this content is for mature audiences only. Please enter your age below. Remember me text. Um, I guess that's fine. Remember me. And the yes, no sub question, yes button, no button text applies to this option right here. Validate age using input fields, drop down boxes, or yes, no. So that's why these ones are not applicable because we did not choose yes, no as the option. Day, month, year for the numbers they enter. 
Here it says your browser does not support cookies. So if they if they don't have cookies, the remember me won't work. And this is telling them that. You can add additional content here. Let's see where that goes. It's going to write additional content in this field so we can see it on the page. And here it shows error messages. So you can customize those as needed. And we're going to click on save changes down below. Let's go to the site, refresh. Now it's a little more clear what this is about, but it doesn't look very good yet. So let's see if we can make it look a little nicer. If we head back into appearance under the settings, we can select a logo image, which would be quite nice. A background color, let's just choose something. Well, let's make it more loud. Let's make it orange. We can click on select image. And let's put this one in there. Should be big enough to not be pixelated or not pixelated too much. We can choose whether it's center and center or bottom, left, right. Depending on what position with the image in, you can customize it here. The image will go over top of our background color. So if you have background color selected as well, it's not gonna do a whole lot. But if the image doesn't load for whatever reason, the background color would. So you might wanna consider that. Without changing any of these other ones, which you don't really need to do, Let's go back out to the site and refresh. There's our orange and there's our image. So that's looking a whole lot better already, just having it like this. So now our age gate is pretty much there. That's all we really need. Let's just fill this out and see if we can get to this website, if we're old enough to. Made up some random stuff, although that year is correct for me. The dates are not. So we got into the page, no problem at all. We verified as being older than 21 and we gained access. Some additional settings in here. Some of the important ones. If you have this viewport tag enabled, that helps with adjusting for responsiveness, adjusting for mobile devices. So you definitely want to have that enabled. You can auto tab inputs. So when someone enters something, they are automatically put into the next field. That's quite handy. Some people get confused by it because they're not used to it, but you can decide what's best for your users. You can have a custom page title. If this is checked, what you put in this box is going to be the title of the page when the age restriction pop-up appears. You may or may not want to have that. It's up to you. Click on Save Changes when you're done. Under Advanced, we have the ability to switch to JavaScript for the age gate, and that is good for if you have a caching plugin installed. Something like WP Fastest Cache, W3, uh, Total Cache, um, WP Rocket, which is what I use. They all have caching capabilities, so it's, for those, it's good to check Enable JavaScript. Some of the other important settings we have, we can import, export the options. We can show a front-end toolbar, which if you're the admin, you can toggle age restriction on and off for posts. You can display it as a meta box. This is for if you're using Gutenberg. Here it says tick if using Gutenberg. And you can add some custom CSS. Those would be the things you most commonly use. In the access settings, we also have the ability to assign access to specific parts of this plugin based on user role. And this is a list of the user roles on your site. So choose those as you need. And one thing you might be thinking about right now is if there's age restrictions in place and you have to verify your age before you can view the site, how does that affect SEO? Well, it turns out with this plugin, it doesn't. If we go to the plugin page, which is also linked to in the description down below, we see it is SEO friendly. Common bots and crawlers are omitted from age checks. The common ones would include search engines because those are commonly known. You can see them in your, in your access logs all the time and guaranteed because it says SEO friendly, those bots will be allowed. Some bots that might not be allowed are things like page scanners or auditing tools that are not common. Those might be blocked by the age verification. Those might be blocked by the age verification. But all in all, it's a pretty great plugin. It allows you to restrict access to pages and it looks good. It's easy to set up. So now you can go ahead and start restricting access right away. That's how you add age verification to a website. It's pretty straightforward. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also make sure you like the video and comment down below, even if it's just to say hi, right down below. It helps this video rank higher, helps it grow, helps this audience grow, and helps us reach more people with this content. And next up is watching this video right up here, which shows you the top 10 security mistakes that I see made over and over and over again in WordPress. So make sure you check that out. Down here is the video YouTube things you should watch. And my name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.